Hi again, friends and fans. My name is Christina Engeler and I'm a writer. Today I'll be talking about another one of the many background features of my stories. This time I'll be talking about crabby grass. Crabby grass is a plant-like animal form native to the planet Diana, which is the main setting for the novels in my Quantum series, being essentially an animal native to Diana which has de developed remarkably plant-like characteristics. Because it looks like a plant, essentially like a small scrub of wild grass, crabby grass blends in remarkably well with ordinary grass, and it all but disappears into wild grass and even urban lawns. Its main purpose in the stories of the series is comic relief, because I thought that clumps of grass scuttling about and attacking people would be funny. Crabby grass has stalk and leaf-like appendages and even grows seasonal flowers, by which it reproduces by means of wind or insect pollination and sometimes even by direct contact with its partners. The creatures generally resemble clumps of thick green grass, making them appealing, unfortunately, to herbivorous creatures. The creatures' flowers develop into seed pods which can be made to rattle when the creature becomes angry and shakes them, usually as a warning. Crabby grass has an interesting composition and underneath its shaggy grass-like covering, its body resembles a sort of stick insect, but which has eight segmented legs and the front two end in sharp pincer-like claws. The body, which is remarkably hard and strong, grows a covering of fine leaf-like structures not entirely dissimilar to hair, which gives the creature its grass-like appearance. Crabby grass is highly aggressive and tends to attack everything regardless of size with piranha-like vigor, biting and snapping at herbivores that try to eat it, and this causes havoc for the local farming community on Diana. Nervous disorders in livestock are fairly common as a result, and most ranches on Diana put antidepressants and sedatives into the water supply to keep the animals calm. Crabby grass generally subsists on its natural diet of small bugs living in the Diannan soil, but since the arrival of the Terran colonists, it seems to have grown to favor the pigeons inadv inadvertently imported from Earth as its staple diet. Smaller domestic animals, running free and unsupervised, tend to vanish mysteriously. Crabby grass is known for attacking humans also, although mostly they cause injuries to the parts they can reach, mainly feet or ankles, etc. It gives a new meaning to the phrase, an ankle biter. This is why so many people who live on Diana generally wear different styles of safety boots out of doors. A crabby grass might not be able to actually eat a human, but if someone were to accidentally step on one, which happens fairly often, it would certainly try. In safety shoes. That's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video and the illustrations of the crabby grass. I'll leave links under the video. Feel free to leave a comment, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until next time, keep reading. Cheers!